G'day, it's Robbie Regan. Well, I've just finished a little project that turned out okay, I suppose, but it could be better. Um, it's something I knocked up to address the problem that I've had with the lathe occasionally where I want to cross drill. I want to cross drill into something uh, in the chuck or between centres and uh, also, you know, you can index with the chuck and then cross drill back into it, uh, get your positioning right. We're a lot easier than, a lot more accurate than using a drill press. It's generally only small stuff like, you know, you know jets and stuff like that. Um, not very big, big jobs generally. So what I did, I made up a, uh, a mount to take my electric drill and uh, it's okay. Um, I had tried to cast up amount but I had all sorts of problems so I haven't given up on that but in the meantime I just knocked one up out of some steel so that anybody with a lathe could and a four jaw chuck could could make it and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, there she is. It's just a, a mount to go on the compound with a it's about steel with an aluminium block um, coming out to hold the electric drill and then you just wind your drill in or out and you can also turn the compound, change your angle. So it's good. Uh, it's okay. It does a good job for what I want. Uh, the limitation of it doing it this way is that you can only use fairly short drills because you're, you're, you're quite a bit forward. You really want to bring this back further. So uh, the next version of do will come back further to allow for longer drills. But anyway, for now, this this will do the job. Uh, it's a good exercise uh, just to knock up your spare time. And uh, anyway, cut to the chase. Uh, when I was looking at it I, and designing it, I thought, well, you know, actually, this is another good way to, an easy way for people to uh, grind their chuck jaws if they haven't got a tool post grinder. I mean, I've got a full-size tool post grinder and I've got a couple of air dye grinders, and one of which mounts on here on the compound. But you can set this up with electric drill uh, if you make one of these and you can grind your own chuck jaws without having any fancy gear at all. I'll show you. OK, there's your... Uh, set up. You just turn the post around and you can now move that in or out, bring it in and you can grind your chuck jaws with an electric drill. All you need is a grindstone, small enough to go in there with a long enough length and Bob's your uncle. Uh, okay, you can say, well where am I going to get a long shanked small diameter grindstone? Well, you could use anything from a Dremel range, and even though the shank is short, you could easily just get a bit of rod, drill down into the centre, the diameter of the shank on the grindstone, put it in with a bit of Loctite, do your job, afterwards just heat it up, take it out again if you want to. So yeah, it's quite doable, and uh, the, uh, the whole job didn't take that long. I did it all with a four-jaw chuck, um, here's a bit of footage you know, just showing you a bit of machining and after footage I'll just give you a run through on what this is, how it's made and what I'd do next time if I, if I made it again to make it better.
So what would I do better next time? Well, I'd change the design for a start. Instead of using round stuff like this, I'd use a square piece of square section, or rectangular actually. So I'd bring it probably out across like that. And basically, instead of the thing sitting on like that, or having a square section, you'd bring it back like, like that, say. So basically, it moves everything back f further and makes it more, more usable. You could use longer drills. And it would be a piece of, piece of cake to make. You'd still use your, uh, your four-jaw chuck to do all this. I did everything on the four-jaw with this, including, you know, boring. Oh, I cut that with a bandsaw. So that's what I'd do next time. I'd use a rectangular block. I still use it, the same mounting method where you drill through from the other side to uh, to hold it, hold this in with a, with a, an Allen bolt and also to locate it vertically, stop any twist with a couple of roll pins. You can see there's a roll pin in there and it's all this side of the centre bolt, so no problem. The reason I do it that way again is because when you machine this, and you basically mount your block on there first without machining out the centre first, just plain block. Uh, you mount it, you then put it this way, and then you line it on the centre so that you can find the centre point. So then you, once you've got the centre point marked, you then take the block off, mount it in the four jaw, machine out your, your mount to the right diameter, put it back on, and then of course you've got to set it up so that it's dead in line, so you put it back on, put your drill in with a centre in it, put a centre in here or use the tail stock, twist the block on that mounting screw, mounting bolt until you get it absolutely spot on because it should could be just a tiny bit out. And uh, once you've got that set up, mark it and then leave it on there, drill through with a drill to mark it for your roll pins. And you see you just drill through there, take off the block finish off the drilling the depth you want with the uh, pillar drill or the lathe if you want to do it, whatever and then it's a matter of then bolt it together knock your, knock your roll pins in through from the other side machine this side slightly bigger so you don't have to punch it all the way through so it's basically that'll be a slightly bigger diameter and then you can get a little punch in there and just knock in your roll pins and you're good to go so that's it, it it's pretty easy to make really pretty simple but it's quite useful and uh, yeah if I'd done this with a I thought about the long drill thing, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I would use a rectangular block, and it would look neater too than a round bit, I suppose. But as I said, this is a work in progress. I might try and cast up something in one big piece. Um, my four, with my four jaw being a six inch, might just do it. Might just handle it. I'll have to measure it up. The beauty of doing it in two pieces like this is any any size chuck, uh, pretty much, can make one of these. You know, any small lathe within limitations, uh, yeah, can do it. Now just use a four jaw and away you go. So anyway, that's it. I thought you might find it interesting, maybe give you an idea for something to do over Christmas if you had enough Christmas cheer. So that's it for me, probably for this year anyway. And with a bit of luck, I'll see you next year. So all have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See ya.